from a 1942 bombing run to crash landing in Papua New Guinea, a B-17 flying fortress known as the Swamp Ghost has found a new home right here on Oahu. But before that vintage bomber can go on display, the Pacific Aviation Museum needs your help. KITV4's Andrew Pereira has the story that's new at six. The B-17E Flying Fortress will become the Pacific Aviation Museum's crown jewel. But today, it arrived as a jigsaw of engines, fuselage, and wings. Basically, when it's all reassembled, it'll look like this. This is supposed to look a little beat up. Some of the damage came at the hands of the Japanese on February 22, 1942. That's when a group of flying fortresses took part in a raid on Rabaul in Papua, New Guinea. A crew member in these airplanes knew they were going into danger and they were going into harm's way. But they knew there was an enemy that needed to be defeated and they went willingly to it. This particular B-17 wound up in a 45-minute long firefight with at least nine enemy aircraft. Evidence of that harrowing firefight 71 years ago is still visible today. Check this out. Bullet holes from Japanese fighter planes are still visible throughout the entire aircraft. And our B-17 got around through one of the wing tanks and it started draining. Captain Fred Eaton was a pilot. Uh, he landed in what he thought was a wheat field in uh, New Guinea. And it turns out that, uh, that there was a, uh, about an eight-foot deep swamp. The nine-member crew made it out alive, but the B-17 sat idle for 65 years, earning the nickname Swamp Ghost. Now it belongs to the museum. But the heavy lifting is far from over. It'll take $5 million to eventually put the Flying Fortress on display. We don't measure things in months or years here. It's in dollars. When complete, the Flying Fortress display will pay tribute to aviators throughout history who gave the last full measure of devotion and we tell their story and want them to know how much we honor what it is that they did. Andrew Pereira, KITV4 News. Well, you heard the man. They measure in dollars. So to make a donation, visit the Pacific Aviation Museum's website. You can find a link on our website. That's KITV.com. An awesome piece of history. That's right.